Here in Belize, it's this nice compact country that has the most amazing biological diversity in uh, it's all of Central America, but it's not much bigger than New Hampshire geographically. So we're able to go through several ecosystems, almost set up as a living laboratory for us to teach. Teaching a class in the field versus teaching it just in the classroom gives us a lot of opportunities that you can't reproduce in, in a lab or in a lecture setting in a classroom. We were in the rainforest studying tree density, animal diversity, and plant diversity, because it's a lot more diverse than what we have in New Hampshire in the temperate deciduous forests. And we basically just took data collections on different types of trees and where they were placed. We just compared the data and showed that the rainforest obviously is a lot more diverse, but it was cool to be able to actually prove it rather than just like in a classroom someone says it's true. We were able to prove it on our own rather than just accept it. In a classroom, we're conveying the information to the students. We're constantly explaining things, teaching. It's very passive on their part. And the best part about being out in the field is that they have the ability to uh, see something exotic or interesting and they bring up the question. This is a species of mimosa, the sensitive plant, and it has this anti-herbivory response to collapse its leaflets. When... And they remember those answers more than anything that's ever taught in the classroom because they interest them, engage them, and they really wanted to seek the answer to that. They wanted to understand how it worked. And obviously these trees are so humongous, to go from one edge to the other, which is the drift line, would be really hard to do. You get to do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do, like measuring the circumference of a tree that's like 10 million times higher than you. My favorite part uh, so far this year on, on this trip is the same as every year, and uh, it's the students' faces when we take them on a night hike at the zoo. At first I was really freaked out because it was super dark and I like grabbed my roommate and I was like, oh my gosh, this is scary. But then once you got used to it, it was awesome. Juan, who took us on the night hike, hike is so amazing and so knowledgeable about everything that he does. Very good indicator for healthy water. And most of the animals are camouflaged and Juan picks them out and shows them and oftentimes he'll be pointing to an animal right in front of us and he'll have to pick it up or point it out and still can't see it. The speed that they have over water source, this is tremendous. The leaf cutter ants in the rainforest were actually probably one of my favorites. You'd walk along the trail and you have these little small path of leaf cutter ants, one going out to collect the leaves, one coming back in with large pieces of leaf. There were five different trails that actually came to the one nest and before we had read an introduction on like the different kind of ants and to know that each ant has a specific purpose and what they're doing, they know what to do was really interesting. We, we actually did a study that we found out they're extremely important to the biomass production and distribution in the rainforest. What I found in the past is you think you know what they enjoy and they think they know what they enjoy until they've experienced something different and they find a passion that they never thought they had. You're just amazed at how much you didn't know before or how much like is out there. The amazing diversity here in Belize has inspired me to want to study it and I've decided that I really want to do research now. 